Hi, Gypsy Felice here. I want to do a spirit box message, but because there's so many different topics I want to go over, so many different things I want to talk about, I don't really know where to start or how to start. And if I try, I'm probably going to mess it up a little bit. And I say that mainly again because there's so many different topics I want to talk about and go over. But instead of doing that, I think I'm just going to turn on the spirit box. <clears throat> I'm going to do a listen and see what it is that they have to say, would like to say, and let's take the conversation after they take the lead. So I'll do that right now. I'm gonna put on a little sound bump. I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna review it, I'm gonna respond and push again. So with that in mind, I will play it a few times, normal speed, and I'll keep slowing it down, and I'll replay it a few times for you guys, and then we'll move on to the next topic of conversation. So with that in mind, let's jump right in and get going. Let's hear what it is that spirit has to say. Okay, so a few things were said. They're wanting me to bring up how I'm still in need of help as far as housing goes. They're wanting me to bring this stuff up and in reality, I've been thinking of trying to find a way to get help. And you hear even spirits trying to come through and say that. And I've been considering doing that, considering trying to find help again to get to where everything should be, where everything needs to be, where everything's supposed to be. I mean, so many things were done wrong to me and my child when everything happened, the fight between me and Kelly about the existence of God being real, me choosing God, him throwing me out because I chose God over him and just everything for what it has been. To that being such a short amount of time that passed from that fight to his death to me and Belize, my child Belize, losing everything that we're supposed to have within life that should have been ours legally and by right and so many other aspects of so many things that were done wrong. And this is a continuing factor. I'm not the only one that gets affected when you're in the right and so many things are done to say you're in the wrong even if they're wrong it's this factor of like what happens within the world with all these dark energies and light energies there's so many overpowering dark energies that it overpowers everything else because there's more of it and it really shouldn't be the case and now that more people are starting to realize this they are starting to see that but there's still people out there like me that were done so wrong, that are still trying so hard and not getting the help they're needing. And apparently I'm supposed to be ordering a little bit of help. Spirits brought it up. That's how I kind of wanted this to go. So this video is being talked about because of what they've talked about. I am saying what I'm saying because it is a legit situation for what it is. But I guess I do struggle on trying to portray a message sitting here talking to myself and talking to spirits. Spirits have always been there for me. I feel neglected and abandoned by living people, by the society of the world, of the life that we're supposed to live in this day and age. And, and I'm so tired of going on this long just expecting something to change because it what should have been wasn't but I know this because I'm going through it firsthand 
but it goes so much more deeper than just the, the BS of everything that has happened with me. When everything started with spirit box messages for me, it started as something I didn't know was going to turn into what it has. And it's more than what I could have actually have fathomed. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around everything. But to be truthful, on every level, from trying to get back on my feet and doing all this, sometimes it's hard doing it alone. It's like I want somebody nearby, I can actually get some valid input, some constructive criticism from, some actual help, some actual assistance, somebody actually doing something and not just doing this. There's enough of that in the world that there's so much fakeness behind all this talking. I mean, here I am doing, living, going through, and continuing to push on. Like Spirit Box said the other day when I did a message asking them about something, and they said, those who persevere enough. Well, I mean, come on. It's, it's like the cards are constantly stacked against me, and I'm fighting alone. And I don't feel like I should be alone, but I'm not really alone when you consider everything in spirit that is there for me. But when you consider who is here for me physically still at this point in my life. Yeah, I'm different. I get it. Okay, whatever. People want to say one thing and do another. Whatever. Okay, you want to be fake and phony. Okay, whatever. It, it, it gets tiresome that I don't want to keep seeking out. Because when I do seek out, it like blows up in my face. And this message is not what they're wanting it to be. And I'm getting off track. So let me stop talking and get right back. Let's hear what spirit has to say. You know, I am glad that that there's that spirit there for me that loves me and that we go on forever, that after this I know because of their own existence, every single one of them, that at least I know that the spirit that loves me understands my struggles and why I'm making the decisions I'm making. But when we think about God, isn't God kind of the same way? That we believe that what we're doing, there's a purpose and a point behind it. Otherwise, why are we doing this? I mean, none of these conversations are staged. None of these conversations are fake. They say what they say. And again, all I do is I put the words up there to what they say. When I say they, that's because there are many of them that talk. Not just my husband, not just the spirit that loves me so, not just the ones that mock me for everything, not just the spirits that try to lead me off the path, not just the spirits of my loved family members, not just the spirits of my children, my child, my child's father, and all the other things I have yet to completely understand. There is so much going on and trying to figure out everything with all the twists and confusion of all this mixed boggled information that comes out from spirit box, from life. I mean, no wonder things are so mixed up and confused. But so am I. And I'd be lying if I say there's times I wasn't, because I am. 
but I'm still moving forward. I'm still going forward, even if I'm wrong about the timing or the thoughts or about the exact way that I might be interpreting the information that I perceive at the moment for what it is. Because I know everything changes and things can even change after the fact. But one thing that can't change is actual truth. And I have to push for that. I have to push to try to find people that actually want truth and answers, like me. But I've listened long enough. I've caught contradictions, but those contradictions bring doubt. And when I have those doubt, I'm having the doubt. But I'm having the doubt for this reason and that reason. And I try to explain. But again, I'm sharing everything. And if I'm wrong, well, then somebody help me do it my method and help actually give input try it yourself you may or may not be surprised on how much they communicate with you good and bad and everything in between and otherwise but we all have decisions we have to make and I feel so compelled because of decisions that I've made within my life that I need to push forward even if I'm messing up, even if I know there's a chance I'm risking something because of the way that we're taught to, to perceive the information that we're given, I still got to go forward because I feel like it is my duty because it's what I do. And for different reasons, which I'll go into more later. Let's see what spirit has to say. Okay, so with that in mind, as deep as this conversation has gotten, I'm going to wrap it up and hopefully make this shorter for you all. If not, I'm sorry, it'll be a long one.